Hello there, I'm Alan Parsons, and this is It Goes to Eleven. It's not that it's so much a favorite piece of equipment, it's it's a concept that I've used uh, in all my records for almost since I started the engineering. And that concept is double track with very speed. Now that means in the days of analog tape, I would change the speed very slightly of the tape machine, <laughs> run it a tiny bit faster or a tiny bit slower. Then I would double track the instrument being recorded at that slightly different speed. And that gives a wonderful chorusing effect. It's become a, almost a kind of a trademark uh, sound on, on my records, particularly on guitar solos and uh, keyboard sounds and so on. The technique was taught to me by Roy Wood, who was one of the original members of the Move and also one of the original members of, of the original, original Electric Light Orchestra, believe it or not. Back in the days of analog, it was pretty easy. You just pressed a button. But in the digital age, it's become a lot more difficult to do that. We would have to change the sampling rate. The only box that I think can do it, it's called the Big Ben. What I found out kind of by accident is that Apogee had built in a slight adjustment to the clock speed. And that's what happens when you, when you adjust the clock speed, the pitch of the recording changes. And it achieves the, exactly the same effect as it does in the analog domain on a tape machine. It really makes a huge difference when you hear an instrument part single tracked as, a, as opposed to hearing it double tracked with very speed, as we call it. It, makes a, it just makes a magical difference. What's up, y'all? This is B.O.B. This is g Easy. I'm Mo. This is Julia Michaels. This is Logic. Make sure you subscribe to the Recording Academy channel. Flex.